All right, guys, this video is gonna be a little different. Oh shit, let me try and grab this. We're gonna be testing out my dad's boat. No, that's it. Taking my mom with me, my nephew. We're not gonna go for it, we're gonna stay in the channel. Oh, let me get my phone. Mom, the restrooms are right there. That building in the middle? Yeah, that gray one, that's a restroom. We're not gonna go too far. We're gonna test the boat out, but we did bring some live shrimp from RGB Baitmasters with Captain George. So uh, we're gonna anchor down in the bank and uh, see if I can put my nephew and my dad on some redfish. It's gonna be hard because I'm gonna be moving a lot. We're just gonna be anchored down, but hopefully uh, these spots I know uh, are holding some fish right now. Maybe even some trout on the bank. It, it is evening, so the bite should definitely be picking up here shortly, I would think. So we're gonna find out. Sounds like my dad already turned the engine on the boat. That's good. Now we're just gonna make sure that there's no water coming in. It did have like a very minor, small hairline crack on the bottom. He says he went ahead and fixed already. So we're gonna make sure that there's no water coming in. Have you checked to see if there's any water coming in? So far so good? How much water is in there? Casi nada? Yeah, that's good. where we got the you got some black drums the other day I remember that, the last time we came out it was here we'll try it for like 30 minutes see if they're hitting if not we'll switch it up so the water's not coming from the left side you know the left side it's like no no the agua there's water in the center and there's water on that side But I don't know if it's the water from the right side and it's just kind of coming to the middle. Either that or you, you get it fixed properly, but what you need to do when you go home is fill up the boat with water to make it to see where it's coming from. Yeah. I'm getting a bite here. I think it's a freaking catfish, a small catfish. Bait fish, one or the other. That's a catfish. I think. If this is a catfish, it's a big catfish that. Oh. It almost feels like a big black drum. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. If it is, but no. It, it, it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're on, guys. 
Hold on, right. you know, he's not tired yet. He's like he doesn't know he's hooked yet. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. There he goes. He doesn't know he's hooked yet. That's why that. So he's 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 still super super cold, green. So hold on. Is it that or a stingray? He doesn't have any head shakes like a redfish or a black drum. Oh man. What is that? Stingray. It's a stingray. Yeah, he just, that's why he was, he, well, he didn't swallow it, which is good. We're just going to put him backwards against the, the boat like this. Okay. There he goes. Well, that was fun. thought it was a black drum. You got some that? Yeah. Probably a trout, no? Yeah, you're nice though. Yeah, it's a trout. Oh, oh it's a flounder there. Hold on, hold on. Ay, hola, hola. Don't pick it up, don't pick it up. Bring it over. Don't, don't pick it up too much. Let your line's too tight. Let some of your line go. Oh, let's go, Dad. You got a good one. Check it out. I got a flounder. Nice juicy oh one God. on the Cosmo. No, he won't fall. He's hooked pretty good. Grab the net. <laughs> Perfect cool cut. Man. Mijo, you need to use the puppy's backyard for cooking, for fish. Shout out, guys. A flat boy my dad just got on the Cosmo. You called it, too. I know. He looks like, a, like a 17 and a half. Let me measure him. Let me see if I can get a good measurement of them. Just testing out the boat today, guys, but wanted to shoot some content for you. Let me put them on a stringer first. You know, the string? No. 17 and a half. Mm. Yes, put in the water. <laughs> Caught something? Bring it in, bring it in. Let me see. Pick it up, over, pick it up, over. Pick it up, pick it up. There you go, good job. You got a croaker. See? Thought you'd catch something. Yeah, it's a croaker. It's a small fish. It's a good fish if it was big. If it was bigger, yeah, he's too small. Aiden got a little croaker, guys, on the last shrimp. Hey, he's mad, mad. They throw me back in the water. Another picture, a little croaker. Huh. Yeah, under the horn, right in between the brain and the eyes. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me show you. This needs to be done right. So, horn, brain, you gotta put it, you gotta grab some meat on it. Right there, you gotta grab a good amount of meat. Otherwise, if you don't grab enough meat, then they're gonna steal it really fast. Sells out, yeah. Yeah, he. Oh shit! Did I get you? Yeah. Where? 
barely got you. Sorry. Good thing he has. Good thing he has hair. Is he standing up like right here? Try put it on the video. Yeah, no, my bad. Did it hurt? A little bit. I feel bad now. You okay? Sorry. Yeah, don't stand up there. Stay, stay right there where you're at. I was like, did I hit a rod or what? Or if you want, get on my left side. Get on this side. Oh, you asking me? Now I said I do this. No, I see how it separates. Is that gonna be in the video? Oh, fuck. Oh my God! Like, try something. Mira con la movida. Ya se lo fue. Reel it in. It's a ladyfish. You can jump it over the boat. You jump it over the boat. I told you we were gonna catch. I've never hooked anybody with a freaking hook before. It had to be Aiden. Sorry, dude. No, si se si se le si le picó, pero no 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 le entró. Lucky it's a bait caster. <laughs> bait caster kind of stops by itself when you feel something happening. If I if I had like a reel like yours, I would have took your whole fucking ear off. Where did it where did it get you? It didn't get you on your arm, right? No, it was just your hair. It probably stings a little bit. But it didn't it did the good thing it didn't actually like fish bit my hook. It bent it. That's okay. Good thing it didn't like go in his freaking head. <laughs> then we would have had to fucking do surgery. <laughs> All we have is my dad's pocket knife, so. I think I got him like around 2018. Yeah, got something, guys. Got a little trout ski. Ooh, a little trout ski. They're coming out, guys. He's a little one, though. He's like, what, 12 inches, you think? Put him back in the water, dog. He's trying to breathe. Give me some oxygen. They're over there, Dad. Yeah. So, Aiden, try to throw your line by that boat so my dad can throw over here. Oh, there's a little one. Cosmo again. He's peeing. There he is. There he is. Bring him in. Try to flip him over if you can. Flip. Up, 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 up. Real quick. There you go. There you go. Listen, listen up the line a little bit. There you, there you go, right there. There you go, right there. Go ahead and close it. Hey, it's a trout, bro. Not big enough, but it's a targeted species. Speckled trout. So how big do you have to be? Oh, look, yo. 15 inches. This is like 12. Yeah, about 12. Here, tighten up your line, put another shrimp, and go at it again, bro. Oh, got one that right in that light. Oh, a bunch of dinks, though. Dink city. Another little dinker. This is the smallest trout I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm a fucking French fry. 
Oh, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Real, 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 real. I told you. Real, 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 real. You threw it in the bank, Dad? Told you. Rod tip up, rod tip up. There you go, rod tip up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Pick it up, pick it up a little bit so we can see it. Pick it up, pick it up. Right, pick it up. Real, real, real. Oh, it's a redfish, a little redfish. Flip it over. Yeah, that's where you want to throw with live shrimp, right on that bank. No, it's too small. It's a redfish, though. They're strong. Big trout. Where's the net at? All right, guys, if you made it this far, I appreciate you. And I uh, just wanted to touch base real quick with you guys. Um, I do, I, the reason I haven't been on the kayak is because I am raffling it currently. For those of you guys that don't follow me on Facebook, go to my Facebook page, um, Seth Fishing forward slash YouTuber. I'll put it right here. Uh, so you guys can follow me on my page. Not only that though, but I have a hundred spots available. Well, I have less than a hundred spots, but I have a hundred total spots available for the kayak raffle. It's forty-five dollars a spot, and you're gonna enter the chance to win my kayak, my personal Hobie Outback kayak with everything it's got on it, which is valued about forty-five hundred to five thousand dollars. Um, you're gonna get every single part on that kayak. So make sure you go to my Facebook if you want a chance to win it. Um, I do plan on taking it to RGB Bait Masters here in the future. Um, once I detail it and then I'm gonna put it on some stands so you guys can probably have the ability to see it in person But you know, it's my personal kayak and the reason I'm raffling it is because you know I'm gonna be going changing to something else in the future um, I do want to get a different kind of vessel for you know going out there and kayaking and stuff like that um, Looking at a couple of different options. So I'm looking into raffling the personal one that I have now $45 gets you a spot and uh, go to my Facebook at Seth Fishing Forest slash YouTuber. On top of that, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Sorry that I haven't been posting videos as often. I've been doing land-based fishing and it hasn't gone so well. I'm still kind of learning it. So I went out with my dad and my mom and my nephew on my dad's boat uh, to test it out. And it was a great day. We didn't catch a limit of reds or a limit of trout or anything like that. But regardless, it was a, for me, it was a, a great, great day. I got a chance to spend time with my mom, uh, spend time with my dad and my nephew. And it's very rare that my mom goes out there. So having her there and kind of tough it out till the evening was pretty cool. Uh, so shout out to my mom and, uh, and my dad for hooking up that real nice flounder. If you guys like the, the videos, make sure you comment down below your favorite part, um, where I should go fishing next. I'm thinking about wade fishing on my next video, um, somewhere in the, in the South Padre Island area, or maybe, uh, support mansfield regardless of the fact we might be doing some wade fishing soon or maybe some pier fishing uh, meanwhile we get this kayak raffle so go get a spot guys um plenty of spots left on my facebook page and uh good luck to everybody i'll see you guys on the next one peace